This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 14, Building an App Image Scroller, uh, Puzzle 7, Buttons and Keys. Oh, this looks cool. Does it do anything already? I want to know. Oh, it's probably going to tell us. Okay, let's see. Uh, we, now, uh, we now know how to respond to key events, but often we want the user to be able to do the same thing with the app in multiple ways. For example, we might want the app to exhibit the same behavior if the user clicks a button on the screen or a key on the keyboard. This is so-called keyboard shortcut works. Oh, it's how, yep. Yeah. All right. In the program you're about to see, we've provided event handlers for some of the buttons on the screen. You're going to create identical functionality for the key events. Do this. Add a conditional statement, so an if statement. Oh, they're showing us. Inside the key down event handler to check for when the up or down arrows are pressed. Okay. Copy the code for the up image button and paste it into the into the up arrow if statement. Okay, copy. Okay. So uh, this is going to be carried across projects, right? The icon means the level is part of a larger project. Yep, changes will be saved. Okay, so add a conditional statement inside the key down. Where is key down? Yep. If statement we got. Okay, so and we're going to check if to check if the up arrows are pressed. Okay, so event dot key just like we did before and then up in quotes i'm going to assume they want that first and then what they're looking for is an else statement even though they said and uh, plus which are and then event dot key double equal sign for the equality operator and then down quotes pata and now they wanted us to put, yep, okay. Copy the code from the up, it, from the up image button. All right, so where's our up? That's down image. And paste it into the up arrow button for if statement. Oh, right, because, okay, that makes sense. Because we want the up arrow on the keyboard to do the exact same thing the up arrow here does. And I bet we're going to do it for down. Okay, so I just copied and paste, right clicked it. So I grabbed the code from the up and down buttons and put, well, the up button code I put for the up key and the down button code I put for the down key. Confirm your app response to the keys by running it. For example, clicking the image of the up arrow and the app should do the same thing. Yep, let's try. I'm going to hit the up key. Good. Down key. Up key. Up key. Up key. Down button. Up key. Down button. Key. <laughs> cool. And does it even... Oh yeah, it even says the same in the council log. Awesome. So we were just adding these if and else if and then copying the code. Great. Let's uh keep going.